knobology. I don't know who came up with the, the was the first person to say knobology, but I, I kind of like the term. And um, in, in particular, I think that one of the things that happens to the novice um, user is you get really excited about taking the transducer and putting it directly onto the, the person and wanting to see what's on the screen. While that can happen most of the time, because a lot of these ultrasound machines are set up for image optimization, if you really want to optimize your image, if you really want to see the thing that you're after and improve that signal that you want to see, you have to work on your knobs and knowing how to choose the right, um, uh, the right parts of the machine to use. So the transducers that, that you, might, um, you might come across today and, uh, and in the future are linear, curved array, and then what's called a hockey stick type transducer, which is also an, a smaller type of linear array. And your step one is going to be to choose your transducer, because this is going to be the machinery you're going to start with. This is your hardware, right? Your linear arrays are going to be your higher frequencies. And remember, I told you that the higher frequencies attenuate more, so they don't penetrate through deep tissue very well, and they don't penetrate through things that are very dense. But they're very good at discriminating between two objects along the axis of the beam. So they're, they improve your um, axial resolution, which is also called is a type of spatial resolution. Okay? And what that does is it discriminates between two very small structures and it's particularly good with superficial structures. So choose your linear array when you want to look at superficial structures, relatively superficial structures, and um, when you need better resolution. But be aware that if you have something that's particularly deep, it may be difficult to scan with the linear array because you may um, have an attenuated signal. That's when you want to use a curved array. So curved arrays are co also called curvilinear arrays. Um, they're lower frequency, so this is going to be 6 megahertz to 1 megahertz. Again, it's over that 20K that, that would define it as ultrasound. Um, you get less attenuation, so in general you have to compromise something, and in this case you'll compromise some resolution, but you will get to penetrate um, deeper <coughs> tissues. You'll get better resolution of deeper tissues than you would have otherwise. Again, the, the, curve, the linears are, a, a com they send out a column of sound waves, more or less. Um, although there is, some, there is some features, there are some features that, that I, I'm not going to mention very much, uh, which include um, trapezoidal imaging, where you, can have the cur where you can have a linear array send out um, some signals that are beyond the column. Um, and that's pretty much going to be your linear transducer and your hockey stick. And the curvilinear sends out the fan of sound waves. And you can just imagine this is the same kind of transducer that you'd have for OB purposes which, or abdominal scanning, which most of us will, would recognize it from.